So Palace sources are speaking out for Kate Middleton and now it looks like the narrative is changing again. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into this. Free Palestine all day, every day with my chest. Pregnant women are being bulldozed by tanks. And recently it was announced that 15 children, minors, were executed. Absolutely insanity what this genocide is. And over 20,000 British nationals are returning to the UK waters. And why are they not being tried for being the terrorists that they are, who can get up from their bedrooms and run to Palestine and kill innocent young brown and black children? Makes you wonder and makes you think. It's insane. The entitlement, the white supremacy right in front of our faces. And this is how it works. Imperialism, colonialism is happening right now. It's not something for the history books. It's disgusting. Free Palestine all day, every day with my chest. Let's get into this um, conversation. People magazine have released a hour ago article exclusively via the palace stating that things are changing and that Kate Middleton now may join royal events when she wants to and when she's able amid treatment. This is far from the narrative of her meant to be attending an Easter Sunday service event and also her returning for Easter. It was confirmed that she was returning for Easter, that this is what was going on. So why has that been the, the case that it's not going to occur? Because we know now that she has cancer related issues, but she's known this for a while. They've known this for a while. So to me, it is very bizarre. Kate Middleton will now remain out of the public I, during her cancer treatment entirely, but may join in events when she feels able. Palace sources say that would not necessarily signal a return to royal duties now, that decisions will rest on doctor's advice. For now, she's focused on a full recovery with a family there to support her. She has the inner strength, the support of her husband and an extraordinary family that she can focus on what's more important, which is her getting back to strength. Those closest to the princess say they have every hope that when she is ready, she will return stronger than ever. I don't know who's close to her because everybody seems to be shocked at her cancer diagnosis or don't even know where she is, whether it's her friends or her senior staff. The royal family is vulnerable at the moment and there will be an even greater appreciation that they are human beings with frailty than the rest of us. So says these um, palace aides. So th to me that this is very co um, confusing to me because the narrative now is changed. Stick to one story and go with it. First it was she is returning to Easter related duties, attending the 31st March event, etc. All of that seems to now have been changed and now it's when she can or if she wishes to and that she will stay out of the limelight for her entire cancer treatment. How long is this cancer treatment? Um, I thought it was preventative chemotherapy, which I haven't heard of when it comes to medical terms, which is why doctors are confused about that anyways. So I don't understand what is going on here. It just seems that the story keeps on changing for Kate. Granted, she looked weak in that video. She definitely looked drained and like she was going through something. And for the fact that William wasn't even present or even sitting next to her is alarm bells within itself. But the palace are now stating that she will not be seen throughout her cancer treatment and will remain absent and will return if she can and wants to, which is very much different to Kate Middleton is returning to public speaking royal engagements in Easter and that is when she will be her comeback. Like it's, it's completely changed now and I feel like with the cancer announcement, not many people will question her disappearance or her changing of timetables or patterns and what is going on. Maybe that's me being a little insensitive, but also I'm just very confused. Um, stick to one story. If this cancer diagnosis is what she and the team knew of back in January, and they announced in January that she will be returning in Easter, and her now not returning in Easter is confusing. And you know, you are worried for somebody because they're not returning at a time that they need to. Like one would be worried for King Charles, who is not returning to full speed like he thought he would because of what might be going on. There's no harm in being worried about what is going on. I'm just worried and confused because whilst this is going on, Camilla is speaking for Kate Middleton and that, you know, Kate Middleton is thrilled and doing well and doing okay. So, you know, the fact that Camilla is seen with the public holding Kate Middleton posters, to me is just like, let me get a piece of the limelight of the Kate Middleton juice that is everywhere. I mean, when it comes to the public royal family, everybody's speaking about Kate, let me try and get involved in this. Because Camilla is always only spoken about when it's in relation to another royal. Diana, King Charles, Kate, it's never about what she is doing or she being the it girl, if any of that makes sense. So now she's speaking for Kate, saying that Kate is thrilled and that, you know, she's getting all the help that she needs 
needs. And now there's reports of, you know, Camilla breaking royal traditions for the first time by handing out gifts at an Easter service event because King Charles is unable to do so due to his physical health even despite the fact that his physical health is ailing and that King Charles is frustrated that it's not going to the place that it needs to, we still see King Charles publicly at events, sitting there or in the car, saying hello, standing around. He's definitely still present. We see him. So this is why I'm even more confused about Kate because there's plethora of articles and news that King Charles's health is declining, yet we see him. So why don't we see Kate, especially when it's been announced that she's returning for Easter? I don't understand. It just, to me, it's just like there's something else going on I just feel and I'm worried and confused for her so again Camilla breaking these traditions and taking the limelight at the Easter service event and you know speaking for Kate I just feel like she's trying to get any PR or press um, to be honest with you of course she is the Queen consort and you know King Charles and Kate are out but I just think that she's just using this time and I just find it article um, interesting that articles are placed in regards to her just being sent to stage, taking all of the attention, and I just find it to be interesting and just weird. There are still so many articles about William and Harry's, you know, intense frustration and their brotherhood not getting back together again. I don't think Kate Middleton's cancer announcement would lead to Harry and William getting back together again and being chumps. That's just not how life works. It's a reality check. It's sad that something's taken place, but I don't think that that would take place. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm genuinely... I'm genuinely confused. There would be no reason for why their um, brotherhood would come back together again because of, you know, Kate's cancer diagnosis. So, you know, it's still fractured. The relationship is still not well, but it is what it is. You know, there's nothing you can really do about it. You know, it's one of those scenarios where if the mother was alive, she would absolutely bring back William and Harry together. Diana would absolutely do so, but she's not here. And when your parents pass away, whether at an early age or a later age, the sibling fractures only continue and they get worse. So it's sad, but it's just a passage of life that unfortunately takes place and the royal family is no different. So I'm, I'm very closely monitoring these Kate Middleton updates that are now coming out that seem to juxtapose what they were confirmed that she will do prior. It seems that the ball is always moving, the line is always moving, the story is always moving, and I'm just confused and concerned about what is going on behind the scenes. And if there's something else that has taken place and this cancer um, diagnosis is a perfect way to just mask everything else. That is what I feel like is beginning to happen. If we really want to keep it truthful, that is what I feel like is really happening. Make of this what you will. Another Royal Nugget video. I'm trying to make my videos a little longer for you guys because some of you guys have mentioned that you prefer that. And also it's nice to put in a few nuggets together. But let me know if you guys prefer this. Of course, when it comes to breaking news and everything, I'll keep them short videos, but I'm trying to make them a little bit longer um, because I know that you guys enjoy so. Subscribe, comment down below, comment if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. Give this video a thumbs up, send a super thanks if you guys wish to, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.